you going to mug me? I might get a mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the decent marathon. Download Veely now. Welcome to Russia. That's how cold it is, look. The largest country on Earth and home to nearly 150 million people. Growing up as a kid in the 80s in, in London, Russia was painted as this weird big baddie. Now with Vladimir Putin well into his third term as president, it's starting to feel like that again. Pro-Russian rebels in eastern Ukraine. Vladimir Putin has ignored the dark the warnings There's from the West. There's going to have to be a very different relationship between Britain and Russia. The West has imposed tough sanctions against Russia. Russia is responsible for the violence. And relations are the frostiest since the Cold War. But this hasn't stopped an army of young Siberian models invading the West. And while the catwalk and magazine demand for these girls grow, I'm here where it all starts, at the castings. My name is Lisa. I'm 13 years old. I'm from Siberia. The dream starts young. Some of these girls were young as 13. Very young. With thousands of Russian children starting model training almost as soon as they can walk. Raz, dva, tri, fast. But there's a darker side to the dream. If I were a parent, I don't know what I would do. The, the right and the wrong is just so blurred. So I'm going to find out just what it takes to make it in the West and leave Siberia behind. over 9,000 kilometers long and crossing eight time zones, the Trans-Siberian Railway is the longest in the world. And the coldest. Temperatures here can drop as low as minus 60. That's how cold it is, look. You feel that? Siberia is so huge that if it were a country, it would be the biggest in the world. 50 times the size of the UK, but with around half of the population, most Siberians live along this rail route. So this is the train that model scouts from all over the world must take in search of fresh, new Siberian faces. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm Reggie, what's your name? Taco. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. So where, yeah. where exactly are you from? Tokyo. Tokyo? Yeah. Uh, and how many girls are you expected to find in the time that you're here? Well, as much as possible. <laughs> I mean, like if you cannot find it, you cannot find it. If right. you find 10, you find 10. It's just like that. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it you're specifically looking for? The, actually, what we're looking for is somebody who had a strong face. And they're still young, like 14 years old, 13 years old girls. Yeah. Uh, they're still growing. So I haven't introduced myself to you either. Sorry, I'm Reggie. Hello, okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, why here? I mean, this is so far away from, from home for you. Girls? <laughs> no. What specifically? What type of girls? Mm, it's short age, like only teenagers, maybe. Over one age, if people think you are getting old, then no chance anymore. But... So, you're looking for someone who feels and looks younger? Yeah, our client love it. Our client like young girls. In Britain, children aren't allowed on the catwalk until they're 16. And although girls younger than that do model for magazines, the Asian market specifically looks for the youngest faces. The first stop on the model tour is the industrial mining city of Krasnyask, 3,000 miles from Moscow and a world away from the UK. In Soviet times, Siberia was where political prisoners were sent to die. A few decades later, and it's not how I imagined it. As a, as a kid growing up in, in North London, when you think of somewhere like Siberia, you just imagine this huge, vast sort of massive land with mountains and snow and nothingness. But 
the bit that I'm in right now, it could very easily be somewhere in the UK. You know, there's literally tower blocks everywhere. We very easily could be in Peckham. <laughs> and this is where the glamorous life of a Siberian supermodel begins. At a casting organised by local agencies for the visiting talent scouts. And coming to a casting like this really can pay off. Natalia Vodianova was discovered selling fruit by the side of the road in Russia. Now she's a millionaire supermodel. But this is the first step, standing next to naked in front of strangers. I don't remember the last time I felt this, this awkward. I think it might have been the time when um, I stayed at my mum's and I found my little sister, who I'm convinced is still nine years old, even though she keeps telling me she's 19. When I found her bra, it was the weirdest feeling I think I've ever had and that is now being sort of gazumped by what I'm feeling right now because just over my right shoulder there's a whole heap of kids and they're in pants and, and bras. But then I see something that really takes me aback. Whoa. <laughs> They're all so young. I didn't expect there to be this many people, and um, I didn't expect them to be this young. It looks like everyone here is about the age of, I don't know, maybe 15, 16 tops. Then the director of Noah Models arrives. Tigran Kahatrian has been running casting sessions like this for 20 years. Uh, as if these girls weren't standing up straight enough already, um, there's suddenly been a bit of an atmosphere change in here because there's a, a, a guy that everybody is um, shaking hands with. Hello. Hello, Reggie. I'm Tigran, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Tigran. Could you explain um, your role uh, today? Well, the role is to select girls uh, primarily uh, for ourselves, yeah. to send uh, all across the world yeah. for them to work. There are many young girls here. And what sort of numbers are you expecting today? Uh, I expect to find about 10 to 15 girls here. Out of how just, many just this standing up? How many can you expect to arrive? Probably 100. A lot of them have great potential. Yeah. The critical part is the character. Most Russian girls, okay? They're like Ferraris without engines. But when you, uh, when we start working with them, we put those engines in to try to uh, make that an awesome car. So <laughs> I'm going to start calling you the mechanic compared. for the rest of the day. We are the mechanics for right. these girls. Tigran's right-hand woman, Anna Yuzakova, is running today's event. She personally manages over 100 girls working all over the world. them on their cards, they've got their name and their age. My name is Lisa. I'm 13 years old. My height is 176. I'm from Siberia. I like modeling, traveling and swimming. <laughs> Some of these girls are as young as 13. If any of the scouts like a girl, a code letter is added to their card. Some of them may have worked before and some will be newbies. And in the Asian market, they can start as young as 12. Asia is like the kindergarten. Then, uh, that's the first market that you send them to? Usually that's where they start, yeah. Okay. Then they go to Europe. Europe you can consider as the high school. Yeah. Then they go to the US and that's the university. Right. right. So what are you looking for? What can you tell already? Um, the photogenic qualities, uh, certain geometry of the face, right. and the proportions uh, of the body. If you take the distance between the eyes, you take the distance between the nose and the eyes. Right. You, you put this down to a science. Yeah, it is a science. It feels like a really strange thing to say, but these young women are trying to get a job, you know, and 
but in any other environment they'll be holding up their CV, whereas here, their CV is their body. It's the way they look, it's the way they walk, it's how they smile, how confident they are. And um, when you see the people who are the right boy, quote unquote, you can really tell the difference. Are you mum? Hello, pleasure to meet you. How are you doing? I'm, I'm Reggie, what's your name? Yeah, hello, Yuna. Lovely to meet you. She's um, she's got every single agency on there. Yeah, So, um, did you did you ever come to something like this? Did you ever try it? In my childhood, I dreamed of being a model. Well, when I was young, I could only dream of looking at photographs, Cindy Crawford, for example. Yes. But we didn't have the opportunity. Do you think that you would have coped as well, being that young and wearing so little in public? Готовила ее к тому, что девушка уже, в принципе, <смех> может, <смех> может показать свою красоту и что это часть работы. Hello, my name is Sana. I'm from Sibiria. Quite a lot of the girls were getting letters, and this marks them out for the next step. Hello. All right, so what have we got on this piece of the paper? There's two letters on here. What does that mean? Кей означает, что нужно снять снэпы для нашего агентства, а Н означает, что меня выбрали в новом модуле. Нам нужно еще снять снэпы, и, ну, соответственно, потом нас уже выберут по снэпу. I see that you put your uh, your jumper back on now. Is it um is it a bit weird being in a bra and an underwear for so long? Да, ну достаточно неуютно, но сейчас пока нет внимания ни камер, ничего, то есть. If I was in my underwear, stood up there, I'd be crying. <laughs> so, have you officially made it, or is this sort of a, a step towards finding out? The journey from Siberia to supermodel is a long one, and Tigran likes to start them young. I feel great when I help these young girls. Because over here they don't have uh, big opportunities. So that's why you got into this then, to, to help young women? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, I want to really help these young women and uh, it gives me great joy spiritually when somebody becomes very successful. I take great pride in it, so we'll see. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm sure I'll catch up with you again in a little bit. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Something tells me, though, it's not just about spiritual reward. This is business. Each teenage model that Tigran signs could make him thousands in commission. But was he right about the lack of opportunity? Anya's been trying to be a model for three years. I'm going back to her village to see what life is like for her there. Now this is what I imagine Siberia would be like. It's only an hour outside of Krasnoyarsk, but it feels a million miles away. Anya's lived all of her life in a village in the middle of a forest called Ovsyanka. Anya, this couldn't be any more different to, uh, to where I grew up. I mean, what's it like living here? It's very difficult. But you can put your character on the same way. You can put yourself on this rhythm. Being a guy who, who grew up in a big city like London, there are opportunities literally everywhere I look. I mean, what sort of opportunities do you have growing up here? Конечно, за границей возможностей гораздо больше. То есть это и найти хорошую работу, и получить отличное образование. Я бы, например, хотела продвинуться в искусстве. То есть Но здесь мне представилась такая возможность побыть моделью. И, конечно, мечтаю все-таки уехать. But in a country where even doctors make just over 400 pounds a month, I can see the temptation to work abroad. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. Tatiana, very nice to meet you. Anya lives in a one-bedroom flat with her mum, Tatiana. 
Her father died when she was four, so Anya's mum brought her and her brother up on her own. And is that one of your paintings? That's beautiful. Oh, wow, so this is your art as well. Look at this. That's me. Very nice. Anya dreams of being an artist, but finding a way of making money out of that feels like a pipe dream. How realistic is it to, to have a career as an artist here? In Siberia, where I live, there is a chance to get the results in the model business than in the art. So I went to the model school, so it's all connected to the model business. You know, being totally honest with you, it seems as though this is where your heart is and uh, modeling is definitely where the money is and where a career is. No. Все-таки нужно думать о реальной жизни, да, то есть ты не, не сможешь всю жизнь рисовать, рисовать э, и на этом заработать миллионы. Если есть такая возможность заработать, почему бы и нет? Я бы не сказала, что это легкая нажива. Для того, чтобы заработать эти деньги, нужно очень-очень сильно работать и стараться над этим. Надеюсь, очень скоро. Anya has to rush off to rehearsals for Siberia's next top model, a reality show shooting in Krasnoyarsk. I'm going to see you soon, Anya. Good luck, OK? Which leaves time for a chat with her mum. Yes, please. And my first taste of Siberian hospitality. Спасибо. I was just looking at this while you were in the kitchen making the tea, and I can't believe that it's the same girl, because she looks like just a normal teenager here with you and, and your son. And then here, she just looks like a completely different person in these model shops. Ну, когда она была маленькая, ее пригласили, заметили на конкурсе. Школьная краса был конкурс. Благословила ее, в общем-то, в этот, потому что вот на конкурс красоты я ее отправила ради того, чтобы ее научили красиво ходить. У нее очень некрасивая походка в детстве была. А это обернулось, видите, чем? Wow, I'm one of these. Do you think then that your um, do you think that your daughter will actually make it? Can Anya, Anya become a, a professional model? И конечно верю. Вы знаете, ну я обязана верить в нее. И в советские условия мне было сложно, потому что одна, другой раз зарплаты не платили. И сейчас сложно. Okay, so if if Anya actually makes it as a model and is successful, will she have to send money home? Will she have to look after her family? Ну, буду надеяться, что и дочку вырастила так, что она будет мне помогать. So is the modeling career currently bringing any money into the house? Да вы что? Какой доход? Нет, это все пока только расходы сплошные. Wow, that's, that must be tough. Now, when I got here, Anya was uh, really, really welcoming and showed me her room and showed me all of her pictures on her wall. But one thing she didn't show me was where you sleep. So where's your room and, and where do you where do you lay your head in the flat? Раскладываю. Он же раскладывается. Застилаю. So you sleep, you sleep here? Yeah, yeah. In living conditions, it's difficult. When you see just how humble home is, you can understand why Anya is so focused. Um, it sort of stirred up a lot of, um, a lot of stuff in me, because I remember growing up in not the nicest council estate in the world, uh, with not very much. And um, I also grew up with a mum who made the best of what she had. And um, when you've got someone like that looking after you, all you want to do is look after them. I'm back on the Trans-Siberian Express, on the next leg of the model tour. And it's another 800 kilometers to Siberia's capital, Novosibirsk. Not a lot of room. So uh, I guess this is home for the next 12 hours. Anna, the scout from Noah Models, is in the next carriage. She's been running these Siberian model tours for six years. Hello, Anna. Hello. Hey. 
So what is it about Siberian girls that draws people from everywhere? What is really special about Siberians is their roots. So a lot of people were present during Soviet times. So from Ukraine, from Baltic republics, also a lot of people are coming from Asian part to Siberia. It's so a mixture a of ethnics, mix. roots. Yeah. So the faces are really interesting. And also um, Siberian girls have better skin and uh, hair conditions. Because I think you noticed that there are there were a lot of girls with hair up to the yeah. waist. So it's really, it's really unique. I had absolutely no idea until today that girls under the age of 16 were, were going around the world on their own for, for modeling trips. How do you look after them when they, when they leave here? It's not only me who look after them, it's we are making the big team all together. So it's the local agency in Krasnoyarsk or in Novosibirsk where we're going and also the agencies we are working with. How does it get split whatever's earned? Tickets, then uh, transportation, accommodation, uh, allowances, all advanced by the agency. If the girl doesn't cover this expense by her jobs, she doesn't have to return the money. So a successful girl, a girl who does well in maybe the Asian market or European market, how much is she likely to earn in a year? Just round So about. if we don't talk about like top, top, top model like Kate Moss or Claudia Schifford, if we are talking about just normal models, yeah, successful, successful working models, models yeah. um, it can be like 20,000 per month. US dollars, 30, pounds? 30, yeah, like that. US 20, dollars? Yeah, or? USD. 20 grand net a month for a 15-year-old girl from Siberia, that's a hell of a... That's for, for a 15-year-old girl from London, that's a hell of but a lot But we, we say about highest rate, I yeah. mean... So it can be, sometimes the girl come back home with zero because their expenses were more than their earnings. Yeah. So next trip could be more successful. Yeah. All right, well, uh, I'll let you get on. Um, Good talking to you, and I'll, I'll see you in the morning. Sure. Okay. And I hope you will enjoy my home city. Your home city, yes. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. It's still 10 long hours till Novosibirsk, but at least I'm in business class. It's been a very long first day in Siberia, and a bit of a culture shock. <laughs> to begin with, I just felt really, um, for want of a better word, and not to sound like a complete sap, I felt quite sad at the beginning of the day because I just saw so many kids stood there in their underwear, desperately clutching at a chance for a better life, desperately clutching at a chance to do something, to make it. But, you know, the more the day went on, I, the more I understood that these teenagers aren't being forced to do anything. They put themselves there because that's where they want to be and they see it as an opportunity to do something else. It's a really strange day. Novosibirsk is thousands of miles from the catwalks of London, Paris and New York. But in this city alone, there are 24 different model agencies and schools. So I want to see what they're actually teaching them. Hello. Hello, hey. How you doing? I'm, uh, I'm Reggie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> My name is Olga. Hello, Olga. I am director of the children's school of models, Global Russia Models. One, two, three. We're Girls start these classes as young as four. Learning to walk, pose, apply makeup and diet. Today there's a fashion shoot for their portfolios. It's like behind the scenes at the Paris catwalks, but with young kids instead. Вот данная группа детей у нас от 6 и до 12 лет, от 6 до 12. She's a little pro, look, she's hitting the poses straight away. Excuse me, hello. hello. Hi, is this, uh, is this your daughter? Yes. Ah, nice to meet you. Hello, mum. <laughs> Mum and Dad, right? Hello. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Um, how, how old is she? Uh, six, six years old. Six years old. 
Wow, so she's, she's really young. Just a generation ago, during Soviet times, there was virtually no modeling industry in Russia. How do you look at models here in Russia? Because there are so many girls that want to do it. Я отвечу за него, то что отношение к моделям, как к девушкам легкого поведения на самом деле, это казалось, что более доступные женщины, естественно, любой папа не хочет, чтобы его дочь была доступная для всех. Но я постаралась ему объяснить и привела, как раз оставила его на занятиях, чтобы он посмотрел, что там идет нагрузка хореографическая, то есть это растяжка, полностью поддержка физической формы и дело по отношению к легкому поведению здесь никакого вообще абсолютно нету. Why do you think that there are so many negative connotations when it comes to modeling? Ну, наверное, у нас еще там в Советском Союзе это пропагандировалось именно телевидением, властями, то есть то, что это сравнивалось на уровне с проституцией. Hello, what's your name? Zlata. How old are you, Zlata? You're twelve. She's amazing at modeling, and this is what models are supposed to do. They're supposed to make love to the camera. She's a child, and she's delivering quite mature and slightly sexual um, poses. And that's the right thing to do in this context, but for it to be a child delivering that, that's where I struggle. The final girl of the day, Sophia, comes in. And she's got her eyes firmly on the prize. So how old is your daughter? Ten years. Mm -hmm. Right. She seems very practiced, like she knows all of her poses and her angles already. I mean, did you, did you used to model? You could have done it. <laughs> no. Спасибо. You did? Да, я уже много лет являюсь моделью этого агентства. So how successful were you? Were you able to get to the top tier? Я периодически появляюсь на баннерах, на рекламе. Но в России моделинг, он как бы не сильно хорошо оплачивается, на самом деле. И как-то жить и прожить на это невозможно. А это камера. Really? В 7 лет она мне на Новый год попросила красный Феррари. It's amazing how quickly these kids have bought into the dream of riches and stardom. After all, only one generation ago, Russia was a communist country. How's it going, man? How are you? Yeah. Tigran, the model agency boss, has seen huge change over the last 20 years. During the Soviet Union, you know, when once you got your education, everything was planned. You get your degree, then you do this job, you get this standard salary. So hardly anybody challenged that. It was a very stable, boring lifestyle. Right. But these younger girls, they don't want that. What sort of young women are being produced by having these opportunities and by being oh, alive and being young in this, this time? They're far more creative. They want to be someone in life, unlike their mothers. You know what it takes, uh, I mean, what happens when you send a 14-year-old girl from a poor or average family to Japan, let's say, and she comes home with $20,000 that she earned in two months. Now that's, that's amazing. Their mothers didn't have that chance. Yeah. They do. With so much money on offer and the girls being so young, I can't help but wonder if people ever take advantage of them. You know, there are agencies all over, but most are not really doing uh, jobs to send girls to the West where they work professionally as models. So these other agencies then, are they essentially setting these girls up to be escorts? Uh, no, no, no. What they do is they find uh, wealthy boyfriends for these girls. And that's a far more profitable business, unfortunately. And many of the parents knowingly give their girls to them. Why would any parents Because, do because that? It's, it's in the Russian culture, it's in the Russian dream to, have, uh, to, to get married to have a wealthy boyfriend, to have a beautiful apartment, to have a beautiful car. And so that's what happens. That's mind-blowing to me that a parent would want their daughter to live that sort of half-life. That doesn't make, make That's anything. the reality of it. That's the reality of it. Tigran's holding the second model casting tomorrow. 
and I'm starting to see how this could be a life-changing event for the girls who show up. Elite Stars is one of the top agencies in town, and there's just time for one last practice before they meet the international scouts. Former model Arena has to teach her students everything she's learned. Scouted at 15, she's lived in London and New York and worked for Vogue magazine and brands like Chanel and Dior. She knows what these girls need to learn if they're going to stand a chance. Uh, Reggie, right? Yes. Reggie. I want you to help me with English class. Oh, with, wow. Yeah, because the girls, they're going to go to uh, work uh, in a modeling agency in Paris, London, Tokyo, okay. everywhere. So they need practice. So let's play a little game like a casting. Like you're a client and the girls, they're coming to you, they're looking for a job. Okay. I need a berry and a cigarette, don't I? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. hey. My name is Abinaya. I'm from Russia. I'm 15 years old. Okay. It's a good walk. Hello. Hey, what's your name? My name is Dan. I'm 15 years old. 14? Yeah. Wow. And how old are you? I am 14 years old. 14? You're very tall. How tall are you now? 173. They have to learn English because it's very important. Hello. Hello. My Hello. name is Vika. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Sibiria, Bersk. Um, my high um, 73. Yeah. Um, what else? <laughs> okay. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Um, I love all. <laughs> all of them? <laughs> yeah. It's a good answer. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Nice to you. <laughs> what makes a good model in your opinion then? First, you have to be a businesswoman. You have to be uh, Energetic, with good attitude, because without this you cannot make a great career. Because you can have a beautiful face and great body, but if you have nothing in, he in your head, forget it about <laughs> They want to take pictures with you. So All right. <laughs> My modeling days are over, but it's amazing how quickly it all comes rushing back. Hi everyone, look at this camera. I've worked it, girl. I've worked it. I've worked it, girl. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've um, admittedly regressed a little, and I suddenly feel like I'm one of the girls. <laughs> and pose. <laughs> These girls are really investing in the dream. Six months of classes with all the expenses can cost more than two months' local wages. Not to be really sort of out of order about it, but you can see that there are some girls that probably won't make it just based on their height and their weight and their look. And the people that really have potential really do stand out. And of the 5,000 models on Elite Star's books, only 70 are working abroad. So realistically, out of all of these girls here who all really want this, really want a career, how many of them will be as fortunate as you to go abroad and have a career? To be honest, they have all good chance. The casting is being held later this afternoon. Hey, Vika, hello. I met hello. Vika yesterday, but all I really know about her is that she likes ice cream. Hello, uh, I'm Reggie. Nice to meet you. She lives with her single mum, Natalia. God, you need so many layers, it's so cold. Okay. Cold? Really? Yes, this is oh. cold. You're telling me this isn't cold? For me, it's not cold. <laughs> it's okay. No, I'm normal. So this is your place. This is really yes. cute. Where are, we, um, where are we headed? In here? Yeah. Okay. So you love a flower, don't you? Yeah. It's a one-bedroom flat, so Vika sleeps in the living room. <laughs> it's my favourite flower. Oh, there's loads here. Look at all of these pictures. What's this? Elite Stars? Yeah, it's my diploma, and I have a title, Miss Elite Stars. Miss Elite Stars? Yeah. What's that? Oh, so you won the crown? По обучению среди групп девочек, которые выпускаются, выбирают Miss Elite Stars. И я и стала... Whoa, you. Nice. <laughs> I 
It's my first photo shoot. Are you nervous? Uh, of course, uh, when I see camera, I'm scared. <laughs> Да, я уже знаю, нужно вести себя перед камерой, как позировать, что нужно расслабиться и как бы. This isn't her first international casting, but she's never been picked, so everything is riding on this one. Uh, мне нужно скинуть uh, примерно 2-3 сантиметра в бедрах и 3 сантиметра в талии. How do you go about it then? Uh, я сижу на гречке, целый день ем только гречку, пью зеленый чай и воду. Buckwheat was a staple of Soviet cuisine, so I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> so this is where I can't say no, isn't it? It smells like hot wheat a bit. <laughs> you wouldn't have this with anything. Да, без всего, без соли, без специй, без всего. Только гречка, вода и зеленый чай весь день. Вкусно. It's not tasty. Was you happy for her to try and make modeling her thing? Ну не сразу, но я согласилась. Да. Мама просто боится модельного бизнеса, так как показывают нам в России это. И в России многие думают, что девочка-модель то же самое практически, что и проститутка. Ну, конечно, напрягают <laughs> такие вещи. Но я думаю, что действительно, что она у меня девочка такая волевая, она справится с этим. How likely to succeed are you? What are your chances? Получится, я добьюсь своего, и я пробьюсь, и вы еще услышите обо мне. Я буду известный. I like that attitude. That's the only attitude to have, and that's good. Is failure even an option for you then? Я добьюсь своей цели всегда, чего я хочу, я всегда именно добьюсь этого. И я не переживаю, что у меня никогда-то что-то не получится. The casting that could make or break Vika's dream is being held on the 22nd floor of a shopping mall. I ought to be getting used to this by now, but it's still surprising how young they are. Anna's running the casting again, and there's a new foreign scout I haven't spoken to before. I'm Reggie. Yes, nice, nice to, to meet you. What was your name, sorry? Leonel. Uh, and where are you from, man? Le Paris. You're from Paris? Yep. Right, so are you casting specifically for Paris today? Yes. The objective is about to find some model who have the potential to appear uh, in the shows like Givenchy, Dior, Saint Laurent. Then, uh, so you're saying that one of the girls or some of the girls in this room could walk at Fashion Week? Of course, yes. So what is the... Um, the ideal for you today. I mean, um, the, the Asian market was specifically looking for someone with a smaller frame mm -hmm. and that uh, height didn't matter as much. No. What's, uh, what's uh, your the, criteria? Yes, in our case, if you want to appear in the shows in, uh, in New York, in London, Milan or Paris, you need at least to be 177. Okay. That's the minimum height. Mm. Because you do, the, you do first the dress and then you select the model. In fact, Lionel's already found a girl he's interested in. Those pictures are incredible. They're really impressive, right? Don't know where she has been before. Philippines. Yeah, Philippines. Yeah. She started to work at 14. Now she's 15. I know that from these images. Yeah. And this is the model face. When you can transform it to any age, any style. Excuse me, what's your, um, what's your name? Pablo. Hello, nice to meet you. Do you speak English? A little bit, a little bit. So uh, on your first trip abroad, did you work much or did you not get much work when you were there? It was a very big casting and a lot of show. So you made good money then? Yeah. Yeah? But with things going so well for you in the East, um, are you trying to set your sights on the West now? Is that why you've come today to try and get picked up by, uh, by our man from Paris? Yeah. Как побывала в Азии, узнала, что это такое, и хочу э, очаровывать людей э, в, в другой части мира. So do you look at days like today as a competition or 
you're not even bothered about other people being here. Конечно, я почему-то по жизни всегда лидер, у меня охота всегда выделяться. Может быть, я родилась для этого. Больше никто не разговаривает. Спасибо. The competition's tough, and I'm worried for Vika. It's her big moment, and she looks so nervous. She's brand new? Yes. The brand other new. girls seem to be getting a positive reaction. But what about Vika? Vika's casting seems to be over in a matter of minutes, and it's time for a new batch of girls to step up. And, and how did it go? Плохо, потому что мне сказали нет, мне сказали путей. Ну, у меня есть лишний сантиметр в бедрах. One centimeter. Yes. That's pretty harsh criticism about just the one centimeter. Да, конечно, я очень разочаровалась, мне очень грустно, даже плакать хочется. Но я, конечно же, худела, я прям старалась похудеть. Но я лежала в больнице и поэтому маленько прибавила веса. Why was you in hospital? У меня остеохондроз, у меня болит спина. Surely having a spinal problem isn't made easier by being in heels all day. Да, это, конечно же, ухудшает. Я чувствую очень сильную боль в моей спине, особенно когда я стою на каблуке. И сейчас то, что я дефилировала и как бы ходила очень много, у меня опять очень сильная боль. Well, I'm not casting. You take them off. Get them off. Get them off. You know, it's really funny. The minute you take your heels off, suddenly you look like a, a 16-year-old girl again. Suddenly you, your hair falls in front of your face and you look younger. <laughs> Okay, yeah, right. okay. Vika seems really upset and in a hurry to get home. I feel bad for her. I know how hard she's tried. The truth is, around 90% of these girls won't get picked. But that doesn't stop them trying. С сегодняшнего дня я стала вашим наставником. Только некоторые останутся со мной в финале. Reality show Siberia's next top model is just one of hundreds of competitions held across Russia. It has a prize of a thousand US dollars, and Anya, the wannabe model I'd met a few days ago, is in the final. Ну что, добрый вечер, дорогие друзья, я вас приветствую на финале шоу Top Model по сибирски. The finals being held in a restaurant at the back of yet another shopping center. And Tigran, the boss of Noah Models, has invited me to be a judge. How's it going, guys? How are we doing? You all right? Looking good? Like the other 28 finalists, Anya's made it through 12 knockout rounds to get here. But this evening's about more than just winning this local contest. The international scouts are here as well. Amazing. Number 18 seems to be cleaning up. I picked her. I'm getting good at this model scouting. Contracts are being handed out for work in Europe and Asia, but there's nothing yet for Anya. It's really interesting seeing it from this perspective. They really know what they're looking for, and it's tough, and they have to be, because, you know, it's massive competition in a worldwide market. 
they've saved the best for last. Tigran is looking for girls to go to America. This could be Anya's big break. A better life for her and her mum. Just seen the golden girl. Hey, well done. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. So you're you're going to Los Angeles. You're going to California. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anya hasn't just won a contract in America. First, she's going to Asia. So it's not just California, it's India as well. You're going to be going to two corners of the world off the back of a, an evenings of competition. I mean, how are you feeling about all of this, Mum? <laughs> Anya, you've taken your shoes off. Is it that point in the night? Is it time to finally let your hair down? Well done. Congratulations. Well done and congratulations to you too. Um, thank you. Thank you. Anya's not the only winner. Excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I see you've got flowers. Did you did you win this evening? You have? I have. Congratulations. Um, what, what's the contract for? Where are you going? China. China. Wow. Have you ever been to China before? <laughs> no. And, and how old are you? 15. 15. But there's a catch. Katya needs to persuade her mum and dad. Does the decision have to be made now? Do you have to decide literally this evening if she's going to China or not? How would you feel about her being out there without you there to look after her? <laughs> are, you, are you worried? I mean, what is it that's making you so, so emotional? <laughs> being faced with this crossroad, I mean, how big a decision is it for you? Do you think mom and dad are going to say yes? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, one word in English. That's a good English word to use. It's the perfect word for this moment. The right and the wrong is just so blurred because both avenues are the right one. Letting your daughter start this career is the right thing to do, but also not letting your child, your 15-year-old child, go to China on their own is also the right thing to do. I don't envy their decision. And if it was my kid, I might say no as well. I want to talk to someone who's been there, done it, and modeled the T-shirt. Valeria was scouted when she was just 14 and travelled the world modelling for 12 years. I was young, you know, I just wanted to be like every girl, try new clothes, wear all... Like, the, you know, the Cinderella story, you, maybe you have this opportunity to be a princess. Do you have pictures of you at yeah, that age? Can I see? This photo. Is this you? Yeah, this, this is Vivian Westwood. Oh, yeah, so yeah. it is. Yeah, How yeah. old are you here? Yeah, 14. Wow. Mm. God, you are so young. Wow. <laughs> and this was in Japan as well. And you're, you're like 14 or 15 here. Did you have anyone looking after you? No, that's the thing. You're alone in another um, mentality, in another world, uh, with no friends, no parents, and... Uh, and you're a child. And you're a child. And if you go one centimeter more, then uh, um, your contract is finished, right? So now I was paranoid that I'm fat, but I was not fat. How much money were you making at that age? Um, from 20 to 50,000 US per month. 
you that's have... a lot of money. You say yeah. it so flippantly, but that's a lot. Yeah, but you have tickets, then flight per month. You don't understand what is the contract. You don't have a lawyer. All you have is 10%. So you're making a lot of money, but you never get them. Some girls, they don't know what to do, and they um, put themselves in troubles. What sort of troubles, I mean? They actually selling the girls uh, for guys, you know, just to hang out with these guys, and they paint the bookers. So random men would pay money to have young models just to hang out with them. Yeah, of course. A lot of girls they are. I mean, they think that they are models, but then they become a prostitution, you know. How often does that sort of thing happen? Well, some girls because they're scared, because people say. I will not give you a passport, you will not go to your motherland. You have to make money and you have to find a way to make money. And it's the reality, real reality of this fashion industry. St. Petersburg, Russia's second biggest city and the home of Noah Models. It's 6 a.m. and I'm at the airport to meet Anya. She's flying in to shoot the portfolio she'll need for her first contract abroad. Hey! And surprise, surprise, Katya's made it too. Good to see you. How you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Where's your bags? Is that all you come with? <laughs> come on. They've got a busy day in front of them, so we're heading straight to the studio. Well, for both of you, this really could be the beginning of, of a career. What do you expect to come from this? I think that it's a kind of pull, that is, the beginning. And, how to say? Katya is a little small. She's going to go first, so she's a little bit afraid. I think for her it's very important, as for me, for me. Oh, hello. Welcome. Hello. 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 Up to 10 teenage models at a time can sleep here when they're starting their careers. This is the biggest photo shoot of their lives. And the work they get when they start abroad will depend on how good these shots are. And so it begins. Next up is Katya. And she looks incredibly nervous. I think reality has suddenly started to set in. Ah, it's a club. Ну давай ножки больше покажи еще. Давай, 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 не стесняйся. Сколько тебе лет? 15. It's hard work for the girls. This is their first proper taste of the modeling business. But I want to know if Tigran honestly thinks either of these girls can make it big overseas. Based on how much you know about these girls at this stage, how realistic is it for them to make it? They can make it to certain markets now, no, not to every market. You know. Just how fair do you think it is that, you know, so many girls get taken on that don't necessarily have everything that it takes? We're giving them uh, an opportunity in life to become someone, to do something more important. So would you do I this? I mean, what, what would the girl do in Krasnoyarsk? At best, I mean, think of it. Or, or in Novosibirsk, you know? Finish uh, high school, go to college, have a diploma, and then do what? Go get a job for $500 a month, marry someone at a very young age, have a baby, most likely get divorced. This is, this is what they're facing. This, that's the reality what they're facing. What do you think the parents think about the role that the agency plays in their daughter's career? The parents, of course, they want their children to be more successful in life than they have been. So they allow the girls to go to the West and, you know, become models. But we have to understand one thing, that for a Russian to go abroad in general, even as a tourist, is a huge advantage because they need visas literally to go anywhere. So it's a great opportunity for their daughters. 
and a great basis for a business like Tigran's. But one thing's for sure, the girls seem absolutely determined to grab this opportunity with both hands. Model room. <laughs> how are we doing, girls? You okay? okay. You all right? Uh, how did you find today then? Oh, сегодня для меня был большой день. Сегодня сначала как бы он не задался, можно так сказать, но потом в итоге мы собрались с Катей силами и хорошо поработали на славу. Has a day like today made you more excited or made you realize just how much work you're about to get into? Да, да. И к этому придётся привыкать. Good luck, girls. Best of luck, all right? Be good. Good luck. All the girls need now are their visas. Be safe. So they can start their contracts and new lives abroad. I can't say for certain whether they'll be one of the lucky ones who will actually make decent money. But at least they will experience a life outside of Siberia that they might not have otherwise. I come from a place where there are so many opportunities. I come from a place where I can be anything I want to be. And I'm told that every day. Whereas here, if you're a young girl, this is one opportunity that takes you all over the world potentially and could make you very, very wealthy and very successful. And yes, it doesn't happen for everyone. Anya and Katya might not end up getting careers. But from what I've seen in my time in Siberia, I can see why so many girls queue up to chase that modeling dream. <laughs>